If you're among the 18% of Americans with high cholesterol, you might be wondering, is there a quick cure? Unfortunately, there is no magic food or pill that will immediately reduce your cholesterol levels. While the best way to lower cholesterol is to cut out saturated fats, there are a number of substances that may help speed up the process. Decreasing LDL levels can be as easy as eating more soluble fiber. Just 5 to 10 milligrams a day can lower LDL by 5%. Soluble fiber works in two ways. First, it fills you up, eliminating the desire to eat saturated fats. In addition, fiber binds with cholesterol so that it's excreted more readily from the body. The best sources of soluble fiber include oats, barley, legumes, apples, prunes, carrots, and broccoli. You may not have heard of them, but plant stainol esters, which are obtained from soybeans and pine trees, are another cholesterol-lowering tool. Because plant stainols are similar in chemical structure to cholesterol, they help block the absorption of the substance. Stainols can be found as an additive in margarine, orange juice and dressings, or as a dietary supplement. A more controversial heart helper is a moderate intake of alcohol. Studies have shown that consuming one drink per day can lower heart attack risk by up to 45%. That's because alcohol's effect suppresses the formation of blood clots, which can lead to heart attacks or strokes. Moderate drinking also raises levels of the good cholesterol, HDL, by about 10%. Experts caution that the benefits of drinking alcohol must be weighed against the known hazards of having too much. If you don't drink already, it's not recommended to begin doing so for your heart's sake. If you're a fish lover, your cholesterol levels may thank you. Studies have shown that fish oil, which is rich in omega-3 fatty acids, helps protect the linings of the arteries. Get the maximum benefits of fish by enjoying the cold water varieties, such as salmon, trout, and herring. Another great cholesterol-fighting food is soy, and not just because it can replace animal fats in the diet. Soy may actually prevent the oxidation of LDL, a process that leads to the buildup of plaque in the arteries. You've probably heard of vitamin B3 or niacin, but did you know that it's often used to regulate cholesterol levels? A daily dose of niacin can lower bad LDL cholesterol by up to 20%, while raising good HDL cholesterol by as much as 35%. Niacin is available as a supplement and with a prescription. Because of possible side effects, do not use this vitamin to lower cholesterol without the supervision of your doctor. There's no magic cure for high LDL cholesterol, but these foods and supplements have been known to help. Remember to talk to your healthcare practitioner before starting a new diet or supplement plan. Want to learn more? Check out other videos and sources on this site for more information.